Man, I had to do a live video. Just got our first snowfall here in Mississippi, and I'm thinking, you know, you kind of want to promote it sometimes, right? It's kind of like, man, look at this. This is cool. You want people to experience what you're, what you're experiencing. Not that it's my first snowfall. I grew up in Indiana, but coming from Arizona, it's been a while, and I thought that was a perfect time to do some of the random strategies that I, I thought of over the last a week or so that I didn't end up drawing. And to kind of wrap up the whole pet store thing, I was I went I actually got two puppies for Christmas for my kids and probably gonna get some more because I have six kids for those of you that don't know me. And you know coming into a new place is something that you want to do. Anyways, I ended up getting that for Christmas. It's been rather overwhelming to say the least. Uh just late nights and in addition to kids and Christmas in general it can be a hassle so I, was, I ended up going to the vet long story short so I, I was at a pet a couple pet different pet stores can uh, you know thought of some some other things after I did my pet store strategy for the 25 days of Christmas and um, I'm thinking you know a vet a veterinarian it would be really cool because I think a lot of people get puppies for Christmas right uh, Maybe not, maybe not a lot, but more than most, I think a lot of people get puppies for Christmas as when they get a puppy. And when you come to the vet for the first time, not only can the vet be really busy after a holiday break, that's something that maybe you want to promote, um, but maybe just have some sort of care package or something ready for them. I went to the pet store, like I said before, some, one of these pet stores, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood Pet Store thing is just what it's called here locally in Memphis. And... Uh, they gave me a free little puppy chow, some puppy food, and incentivized me to come back. I thought that was really cool, and I think uh, people that um, just get a puppy, or for me, I got two puppies, uh, cost a little bit more to go to the vet, something that I haven't done in a long time. I haven't bought a dog in 13 years, right? Our puppy just passed, Callie. And uh, so it was all kind of new to me, going in there, new place, new vet, um, new process, new weather. <laughs> and two puppies and so you know cost ended up costing like 120 bucks or something just to get their shots and just an addition regular checkup and uh one of my pups had uh some something on his foot you know so i just had to get some medicine for that and all that it's just unexpected so i was thinking you know if you, if you're a vet and you're local and even if you're a nationwide chain or something you have local spots you know sprinkled around in the city uh, I think it'd be cool to do a free free evaluation or even 50% off evaluation. I think it was 30 bucks, 34 bucks the place I went. So you multiply that by two, boom, you know, so you're already at almost 100 but with the shots and stuff. So, you know, offer that free inspection, <laughs> inspection, <laughs> evaluation for your pet <laughs> checkup. And, uh, you know, eat a couple dollars. And when you think about it, the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, when it comes from a business standpoint, a lot of people don't think this way when, when it comes to marketing. It's just more more so the here and now you know what what can what return can i get right now that they forget that it's about the sustainability it's about the loyalty it's about return repeat business right it's not just about the right now it's not just about christmas time it's not about the holiday season and capturing stuff then it's about creating a good experience that translates throughout the whole year that people keep coming back and trust you and believe in you and i think the main thing with that and maybe i'm going on a, on a ramble here a little bit but uh, the main thing with that is when you do mess up or you drop the ball or you let them down, right? Because they're the ones that pay you. They're the consumer. They're able to have grace for you. They're able to still trust you and know that, hey, you're human too. And that's why I love authentic marketing and being able to be considerate with the things that you do because are purposeful with the things that you do because that's what, get pe that's what gets people coming back when they're able to see you as a human being too and not as this idol or uh, authoritative figure that or maybe they're... Uh, less than you right because you're successful they're maybe not maybe not but you know in some cases yeah um you know that can gives an opportunity for a rift there but when you're able to be vulnerable when you're able to be authentic with things and say hey i thought about this and not because i'm trying to get people in the door but because i was thinking about you that stuff goes a long way that's what pre-focus is i mean we you think through this stuff walk through this stuff is so important because if you're not thinking you're not tapping into your target audience your your ideal consumers you know always get phone calls um but um is it would it be worth it you know say during the holiday season it, maybe you you as a practice as a pet uh, veterinarian shop um maybe you give a lot of money right why don't what why not take a piece of that and and repurpose it give it back to your customers or, or patients i guess you would call it patient owners <laughs> um 
Maybe you eat $500 to $1,000 in just uh, initial fees, but what if those people come back? I had a really good experience with this Christina gal. Man, I wish I remember what the place was called that we went to. Hopefully I think about it by the end of this video. Give them a plug here locally. I'll, I'll post it, something about them later. Um, she, she was great. She had a good experience. You know, it wasn't too pushy. They were super busy too. She was probably trying to run through stuff. Think about doctors, how they handle some things. You know, the number of patients they see is how much money they make, right? So that's, that's profit, profit, profit. And then after stuff is closed, maybe you're not even thinking about giving the, that stuff away. So I'm not, I'm not big on gifts uh, or uh, deals. I mean, <laughs> to say I'm big on gifts, I think it's a good idea. Given, given deals to get people to come in. But when you're talking about a puppy, that's seven to 15 years, maybe mine, or maybe live 20, uh, which I probably should have thought about that too. Once my kids are gone, I guess I'll have a buddy, um, a couple buddies. But you think about that twice, two, two times a year checkups, what if there's a problem? Not that you hope for those things, but if you ever run in into a rut or, or the economy is really bad or something, you're gonna have more customers that are able to come in the door. Uh, at least twice a year, right? When they need medication, when they need advice, you're the one they call. And you're able to continue to build your team, build your culture, establish things, use that money to build the brand and, and the experience itself, right? This stuff is super important. Another one, um, I won't go on a super, super duper ramble on that one because um, I'm supposed to be making lunch right now. I just can't, I can't go inside. It's so nice. This is awesome. But um, uh, besides a vet veterinarian clinic, um, Man, that would be so cool to work with somebody like that during the holidays. I think I could come, come up with something really cool. We could come up with something really cool and purposeful. Um, but another thing was I was thinking in one of the videos I was doing, I forget which one it was, but uh, appliance store. And uh, that was I was talking about Home Alone in one of the videos. I forget which one. Um, the pizza place. And I was, I was just like, man, what can you do? Um, with appliances and, and my dryers messed up my dryers making a whole bunch of noise now I think it's from the move like the belts tight or loose or something. It's it's rattling quite a bit It's super annoying, right? And I was thinking like man, what if we we hosted company? During the holidays and they you know, like like home alone Kevin kind of gets put in the attic and stuff and somebody had to sleep And they're like I would be that guy that comes to my you know, like my sister's house or something they put me in the laundry room right and they're always doing laundry and we actually watched a movie about this uh the other day uh oh man it was with with uh uh dang what's his name the guy from 40 year old virgin steve carroll i think is his name or some new movies falls in love with some his brother's girlfriend or something anyways he's in the laundry room and so it's that was really ironic that we saw a video about this uh just the other day but uh it would be funny to have to be an appliance store, right? Now you have a movie that you could relate to that too, um, where people will get it. To, they're that person that's in the laundry room, or maybe you're a host and you're like, dang, I never thought about that. I put somebody in there, I put somebody in the attic, I put somebody in another room. What if they didn't get enough sleep? What if their whole Christmas was ruined, right? All these things that you could think about as an appliance store, you could tap into these motions, these actual stories, this all, these authentic moments in time, right? That people have, that people know. and. Um, that's where you create the memory uh, for your brand that stands out f when somebody does need an appliance. My, my thought process is um, as the host, um, you know, you don't want to put somebody in that experience. So if you got a really crappy dryer like me, I'm thinking about having some people over. Other than that being embarrassing, that could keep somebody up. We might be used to it by now. Maybe we don't mind. And being considerate during the holidays is what it's all about. So I think that would be a, a funny commercial to do, just a really comical moment of somebody trying to sleep on a cot or something, <laughs> or a rollout bed in a, the laundry room or close close by, and then have an appliance store with all these things, uh, deals or whatever you guys, those types of stores do during the holidays. So um, I thought that one would, I was hoping I would, would draw that, and I thought about just doing that one of the days because I thought that would be fun and easy but I didn't cheat. And now that I have this, one of these authentic moments that I just want to enjoy, I thought that it would be perfect to kind of share a couple strategies with you guys. So be purposeful with everything you do. There's my wife texting me right now. And always remember to pre-focus. Happy New Year.